If I was a question, would you be my answer? If I was the music, would you be the dancer? If I was the student. Welcome back to the Sims 3 Apocalypse Challenge. Um, I literally just left off on that second episode I did, which is picking up exactly where we left off before. Uh, this episode might run a little long, because I want to get her through finals on this episode, if possible. If it looks like it's going to go over, I don't know, about 45 minutes or so, I'll quit. But I think we can make it through finals, I don't know. I'll do her first set of tests anyway. We will try. And today is going to be a full class schedule day. So basically we're just going to let her sleep. And then we'll let her grab something to eat. And we're going to have her study her book and get her class oh, grades up a little bit. That looks like she's going to have to eat some spoiled food. Oh, those might still be good when she wakes up. Then after that, we'll have her read this book. It should get her fun up and also get her grades up a little bit. Today, we're going to still suck up the professor because we need to get that second friend. And we did miss her brain training yesterday, which is kind of bad, but it's all right because the only thing we could have trained is like cooking or something like that. And, um,. I'd much rather her use that for her, for her skills we actually need. Even though we can't use it for logic, we can use it on her charisma. And cooking, of course. And probably something else that would be useful to her. I'm not for sure what, but there should be something down on that we could use for her third skill. I'm going to wake her up a little earlier than normal, just for the fact we want her to read that class book. No, would you quit trying to use your phone, woman? You're not allowed to. You can use the phone tomorrow. And we'll wake her up in about two hours unless she wakes herself up. No, she wants to sleep till six. That's probably not going to happen. Her energy bar is almost full, so she'll be fine. Wake up. What all does she have in her inventory? We'll leave that. Oh, we don't want to put it in the way. We'll leave that right there for now. Okay, we know she's going to use her car today, so we want to make sure we have an empty inventory slot for that, so she's still not carrying more than three items in her inventory. Ben, uh, 
And those waffles have probably spoiled throughout the night, haven't they? Yeah, so we'll have to watch her when she's eating to make sure she doesn't get sick. And the t a trick to eating the spoiled food is to cancel the action before she's actually done eating so she doesn't get sick from eating the spoiled food. Looks like this carrots and waffles. <coughs> Ugh. Okay, cancel. Okay, so that was her meal for the day. So she has about two hours to read, and then she has to go get her sponge bath and brush her teeth and everything done. And yes, I know it'd be more beneficial for her to read her logic book, but I need to get her, uh, her study time in for her class. Get her grades up a little bit. Hopefully this will start to help that. I'm going to put it on fast forward here. I don't know if she'll finish the book in time. I don't think she will, but that'll be a nice little start anyway. Plus, getting this read might also help her skills just enough to be able to get a partial scholarship we need for when we return. Oh no, not another fire. Not right before she has to go to class. Oh no. Where? Oh, it's in the kitchen. That's even worse. I'm not fixing anything. She's not spending the money to. Where? Okay. Is it in the kitchen? Yeah. Extinguish. So it looks like it's going to be a lot of salad. She doesn't have the money to fix anything. Everything's staying broken. Hurry up and go put it out before more things break. Well, actually, we might have to replace it just for the fact we're going to get insurance money, and I don't think we're allowed to keep the insurance money. I honestly don't know, so we might repair, like, a cabinet. <laughs> Oh, and it's getting big too. Glibsorb. Oh, Epso Bulbo, come on. Oh, Teapot Not Puna, Lena. Come on, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. Hurry, cause you still gotta get ready for class. Hurry! Brave Boo! Oh, Tarni, Kota! Oh, Resort Wib!
Okay, she got it put out. Okay, we'll go ahead and replace... How much insurance money did she get? Okay, that's $215. How much is the stove? 400 Whoa. Okay, we'll replace the cabinet with the insurance money. Leave the stove broken. Now she's got to go get ready for class. So her friends they either got to use the barbecue grill or make salads. Have her use sponge bathe, brush teeth. And I th think we used up all the insurance money there. Or close enough. And it's finally snowing. Yay! I wonder how that fire started when there was no sims down there cooking. Probably left for class and that's probably how it happened. Time for class, we'll let her finish sponge bathing and she'll go to class. Oh, I need to check her inventory. Okay, two items, that's fine. Now hopefully we can get friends with a professor today. In like a class, maybe two. I'll put that on fast forward. It's another fairy. She's got to meet her after class, if that if she's still here. I'm have to wait until she gets out of class to meet her, though. I don't think we'll be able to get through Friday on this episode, so I'll record one more episode after this one to make it through her first set of tests. And then we will call it quits for these recordings there. 
really want her to meet that fairy. I hope she doesn't leave before she gets out here. Yeah, yeah, and her and her professor are friends, so now they can, she can start working hard. eye on her fun. Make sure it doesn't drop too far. Don't leave. Okay, class is over. So, charming introduction. Still haven't met any male fairies, though. Really need to meet a male fairy. I know there's some on ho at home, though, that she can meet. At least you've got the meter. <gasps> we'll just add her to our call list for tomorrow. Let her get her introduction in. Okay, we do know her. Oh. Okay, go to class. Is that a male fairy? It is. Maybe he'll be here after class. Please don't leave. And he even has yellow wings. Oh, and he's leaving. No. Oh, that sucks. Finally saw one. <laughs> He left. Oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, when she gets after class, she is going straight home, and we're going to do her brain enhancement for her charisma. She's going to be hu too hungry to study, so we'll have her try to read that book. And if she won't do that, then we'll have her play hacky sack until it's time for bed. <gasps> no, we'll have her work on her business. No, read that book. We'll work on her business plan later. Do want to keep our eye out for any other fairies that might be around, though. Oh, I'm sorry you're hungry, but you insist on eating all the time, pretty much, so you're not eating yet. Oh, I need to watch her with those candy bars. What? Oh. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go set them in her room and make sure she doesn't munch on one. Cause I want to be safe than sorry there. Lay them right here. There. Now she can't secretly grab one on me. Oh, and put her car up too. We're gonna get her charisma. Yay! So this will be her second point or third point. I'll have to rewatch the other videos, but either second or third point we've gotten from this machine for charisma. And her charisma will be level four. So yeah, this will be probably her second to come. But remember, she got two by herself. That should help our class, too, a little bit. Now go read your book. Over the weekend, we'll have her make some more friends with her roommates as well. 
So I think at this point in her charisma, she needs a friend for every point of charisma she wants to raise. Along with a certain amount of acquaintances and things like that, so. And then fast forward. And after she's done reading, we'll have her go to sleep. And tomorrow's another day where her class doesn't start until 4, so we'll have a few opportunities to skill up there a little bit. And after midnight, we can have her call, start calling people. Have her call those two fairies. Keep from losing them as friends and build one up too close to being a friend, if not too friend, if possible, to call in. And tomorrow she will need this sucker in her inventory for class. I'm hoping she'll get this book done before we have to make her lay down. Okay, so in the morning she will eat. Anything new? <laughs> ah, she didn't get the book done, but that's okay. She'll work on it later. And we'll go ahead and let her eat her meal for the day before she lays down. That way, and when we wake her up, all she has to do is make a phone call to get ready for bed. I mean, ready for school, not ready for bed. <laughs> is that salad still good? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. And that's another reason I'm having her go ahead and eat so she can actually eat the full salad and get the full hunger relief from it.
time it fell into a video. Jagged. What is he? <coughs> Why is he purple? Did he stand outside too long or something? Or is mm. he a supernatural? Mm. Mm. I don't, haven't even met him Overland. yet. Well, mm. now we have. Okay, oh, he's not a supernatural, so he must have stood outside too long. Interesting mm. skin color there, though. No, you're not cleaning up. No. Put it down. Put it down. Garble! Beep! Huh? Now go to bed. Good job. And we'll wake her up with a few hours to spare so that way she can make a couple of calls before she leaves school class. Have her chat three times, one to each fairy and one to her professor. So we gotta make sure we don't lose any friendships. Use sponge bathe, brush teeth. Okay, so she should be in a decent mood for class tomorrow. Safety in the numbers of this godforsaken town. It's been a week since all of this went down. In this abandoned factory, there's no one here but you and me. God help any fool who comes around. And you, with your cold, fickle eyes, who gets you away. I will call her professor. Professor first. Keep that friendship going. We also need her to talk to that one girl too. I doubt she'll still be here though. But she can do that tonight when she gets back from class. Then we'll have a call the fairies. Okay, get off the phone with the professor and talk, call the fairies. Ruby first.
Okay, we'll call her out to class. Yeah, about two hours you can talk to her if she if if the conversation won't last that long. Now she's got to get ready for class. Get her mood to be as good as possible. And maybe she'll have time to say hi to her before she leaves. I was going to have her ask about day before class. If she has a chance to. <laughs> She's going to take a sponge bath, too. Oh, we'll do is go ahead and cancel that. Cancel. Ah, not the brain enhancement. Do the brain enhancement. Then ask about day, sponge bathe, brush teeth. And that should keep all of her friendships alive for this week anyway. Except for that one guy, which I don't really care about. What did we say we were going to train her in? She can't do charisma sh because she doesn't have that extra friend. Go ahead and give her another point in cooking. What's her cooking at? Okay, her cooking's only out of one. eye on her class here. She's probably going to have to wait until after her other stuff to ask her about today to make sure she doesn't miss class.
Okay, she's now a level 2 cook, so she can definitely make peanut butter and jelly, I'm pretty sure now. But it ain't that big of a deal right now, but once you start to have kids and stuff, it will be. <laughs> if that girl was a fairy, they'd be like perfect best friends. <laughs> Do they hit it off good? They both seem to be slobs. <laughs> she likes her jokes. All she's missing is the fairy attribute. <laughs> I can't wait until we can actually get her home to her home lot and stay there. That way she can actually make true best friends and potentially find her potential spouse and all that good stuff. Basically, let her story begin. <laughs> And she does have her little kit with her, right? Yeah. The only time she's able to leave campus. Oh, she's not leaving campus. Okay. So her thing is on campus. Good. She never has to leave campus. That's good. Might have her hang out here and read a book or two before she goes home on the public lot. And see if there would be anybody in here th for her to meet if she does. Because I want to get her to read as many of those little school books as possible so she can get points for her scholarship. Where are you going? Where's she going? What are you doing? Are you going to go outside to study? Is that what she's doing? She's setting up a little thing outside? My little goofball. She is such a goofball. <laughs> Just find a place to set up, girl. You don't have to be walking all over the world. No fairies have a whole lot of them. All over there doing their thing, and she decided to come over here by herself. <laughs> She's such a weirdo. Told me, and Dexter Noy, Ziffle 
Pumbaa Burba. Yoruba Teresa. Simp Boom. Even at the class, I'll probably let her hang around and do this a little bit more and then read those books. For as long as I can give her the do stuff. Do I need to get her grades up before test tomorrow? Class is over, so we're just gonna cue her for it. <laughs> it's not a full moon, so we don't have to worry about getting her home in time for anything. Well, it's just a matter of making sure she does good on test. And he still needs to make a phone call before midnight too. Get her, try to get her at your friend level in those fairies if possible. Just chain call one fairy over and over again. Oh, she just skipped right to it, okay. Uh, I think they had the highest friendship, uh, friendship level, so we'll just call her over and over again. And when they're done talking, I'll have her make a snowman for her fun. Maybe. We can figure out where to click. Oh, the snow may not be deep enough. We'll see when she gets home. No, you'll live. You will live until morning. <laughs> That's fine. Huckle her all you want. She's ugly anyway. <laughs> that was funny. Yorb, Yorb, Poma, Lagra. Bibi, Bibi, no. Zuva, what nerd are the dardan? 
Is she only going to do these little conversations with her? That's not going to help us any. That is so funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know if she's going to do too well on her test tomorrow, but hopefully she get does enough to pass them. Okay, one more phone call, then she's gotta go home. Try to get her ready for tomorrow. We'll have her read this book before she goes to bed. Oh, <gasps> oh study. No, study. I want you to study it. If she will. No, let's just go ahead and go home. Okay, she can make snow angels and stuff, so... Have you still not left? If she won't study, that's fine. We'll just have her go straight to sleep and we'll wake her up early. And get her to do some studying. Oh. I really don't care if you're sleepy. Do what I tell you to do. No, you're studying hard. No, okay. We'll have to wake her up early and get her to study then. So. Oh no, we lost friends with that girl, so we have to re-talk to her too. It's alright though. That'll be easy to get back. So as soon as she wakes up, she's just gonna grab a random thing to eat. <coughs> and then she's gonna study hard and make a snow angel to get her phone phone back up from that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here and pick right back up for the next episode right after this one because I think this one's about to run over if I don't. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks, guys. Bye. Uh, I still got a lot of shit to learn. I'll admit it. Yeah. It's the done, the done, done. I still got a lot of shit.